Well, with the release of the anniversary update, uh, Windows has made some major changes to the Action Center, the notifications. Uh, so let's take a look. First of all, it's moved to the far right corner where the clock used to be. And that's because you use the Action Center much, much more nowadays than you do ever do clicking on the clock. And so it's very easy to drag your mouse to the right hand corner over here and you're already over the icon. You don't have to hunt it down on the taskbar. Now normally the notification center turns white when you have waiting notifications you haven't viewed. But now it keeps a count. It shows like two or three as they come in. So you know how many uh, have come in since the last time you peeked at the notifications. Another change is that the Cortana reminders, in addition to email notifications or appointments and all that, if you say, hey Cortana remind me, it now shows up. I created one here with a graphic, but it shows up here at the top of the list. The other change is that uh, formatting one. There used to be an icon next to every entry and now there's only an icon next to each of the categories. So a little cleaner interface, a little nicer look, a little more professional. Well, here's a functionality you're going to like. Uh, before you had to hover over a notification and then find the X in order to dismiss it. Now you just hover over it anywhere on the, the item and you click your middle mouse button and boom, it disappears. Very nice, very clean, very easy, and it's a standard that's being used on other platforms as well. Now here's another tweak that you can do. Uh, while you, when you're in your settings and you go in there and select an individual app, you can change where it appears in the notification center uh, list uh, and how many times it does. So if you go up here and you click on one of the apps, let's do mail, and you'll see the normal stuff's here, but they have some new settings in here. Uh, particularly, they have one that says uh, how many times, uh, you know, how many copies of notifications. You can limit to just three or five, however many email notifications you want to have. So you can do that. And it depends upon the application how many you have. The other thing you can do is select uh, where it appears on the list. Now here I try to put it at the top and it's warning me the Cordon is already there. You sure you want to replace it? You still can. Uh, but in this case, I think I'll go ahead and change it to high. So now, mail is going to be automatically second in the list. So just another way you can customize the notification center uh, to your liking. Now, one of the best new features in the notification area is the ability to change it. Right now, you're locked into what they show here for your notifications. Uh, but now, not only can you modify that, but you can change the way it appears. So we're going to go over here to settings, that little gear icon. We're going to come up here to system, and we're going to go click on it to go to the notification area. Now once there, you'll see a new app option uh, when we get there, and that is to turn quick actions on or off. So you click on that right there, and now you have these buttons that tell you, well, which ones do I want there? You may not want all of them. You just want a few, so you can just toggle them on and off, which ones you want. Now lastly, you will be able to actually click and hold and drag them to wherever you want. So if, if you want near the bottom, easier to access, when you click on Notification Center, you want it to be in the first row, you just move them around to you, uh, have them where you want. So you can decide which ones show up, and drag them around to uh, however you like them. And once you exit it, uh, you'll see here that your Notification Center has been modified to exactly what you wanted to have uh, for your setup. Lastly, and maybe most importantly for people that are Android users and have Android phones, uh, you'll be able to receive notifications here on the Action Center, uh, things that occur on your Android. Now, you have to be running Cortana for Android uh, at the time. Uh, but you'll get phone notifications, uh, Skype notifications, and other notifications. And in fact, you're supposed to be able to dismiss them here, and they'll dismiss them on your device as well. So there's a nice other feature in the Action Center for uh, Android users. So there it is. That's the new uh, notification area, the Action Center. So take a look at it, play with it, configure it, uh, do what you want. It should become even a more valuable tool for you to use each day. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.